right, everybody. So right now I'm going to read to you your next Cinderella story. And this story is called Adelita. And it is a Mexican Cinderella story. Does anyone know where Mexico is? It's close to the United States. It's south of the United States. If I remember, I'll put up a little map of Mexico so you can see where it is. I'm wondering if I show you the first few pictures, if you notice anything about the illustrations, anything that looks familiar to you. Think about an author study that we did maybe back in the fall. We did an author study on Tommy DePaulo, and this book isn't written necessarily by him, but he is telling the story. So one thing we know about Tommy DePaulo is he loves to tell stories about um, his family, but he also loves to go and tell different um, folk tales and fairy tales from different countries, okay? So this one is from Mexico. And you'll have to excuse my very bad Spanish as I read this book. Hace mucho tiempo, a long time ago, in a village in Mexico, there lived a merchant named Francisco and his beautiful young wife, Adela. One day, Adela said, Francisco, estamos esperando un baby. We are going to have a baby. Adela, Francisco said, me hace muy feliz saberlo. I am so happy. Then he said, we must send for Esperanza. She will come to take care of you until the baby is born, and then she will help us with the baby. Esperanza had been with the Mercado family since she was a young girl, and she had looked after Francisco when he was a baby. So I hope everybody heard him say, hace mucho tiempo, a long time ago, and that reminds me of what fairy tale trait? Once upon a time, right? Esperanza came right away. She took good care of Adela, but after the birth of the baby, Adela was ill. She grew weaker, and shortly after, she held her little girl for the first time and the last time. Quietly, she died. Francisco was heartbroken. He named his baby daughter Adelita, Little Adela after her mother. Francisco was sad for his Adela and he missed her greatly, but gradually Adelita filled his heart with love. Time passed and Adelita grew into a beautiful young woman. La Casa Mercado se lleno de alegría. The Mercado house was full of happiness. So you could see that Adelita grew up to be a beautiful young lady. Or a little girl, I guess she's still a little girl in this picture. One evening, Francisco called Adelita and Esperanza to a study. My dear Adelita, my good Esperanza, les tengo noticitas. I have some news for you. I have met a charming woman and I have decided to marry again. Her name is Senora Michaela de la Fortuna. She is a widow and has two daughters close to your age, Adelita. I know you will like Dona Michaela and her daughters, Valentina and Dulce. Adelita was happy for her father. Esperanza wasn't so sure, especially after she met Dona Michaela and her daughters. Que frias son, they're cold ones, Esperanza said. So, right away, <clears throat> she's feeling like the new stepmother and stepdaughters. <coughs> excuse me, aren't very loving, right? If somebody says somebody's cold, that's what that means, that their heart isn't warm. They don't get a warm feeling when they talk to them. Life was happy, but different. Adelita had to share her father's attention, but they still managed to have importun importantes momentos juntos, special moments together. Adelita didn't mind that Dona Michaela favored her daughters, even though Esperanza complained. It's natural, it's natural, Adelita said. So in other words, she kind of understood that she of course was gonna favor her daughter, so give them special attention because they're hers and Adelita is not really her daughter. 
Then suddenly her father died from an illness and everything changed. Thought I knew that was gonna happen, right? Poor Adelita was an orphan. Dona Michaela had always been jealous of Adelita. Now she no longer had to hide it. She moved Adelita from her beautiful bedroom to a small room in the attic. No longer did Adelita have new dresses. She had to wear hand-me-downs. Worst of all, Valentina and Dulce were mean and hateful to her. Adelita began spending all of her time in the kitchen with, with Esperanza. She helped her with meals. She listened to stories about her father as a boy and her mother as a young bride. Because she knew that Esperanza loved her, Adelita's heart stayed as warm as the fire in the hearth. One day, Dona Michaela came to the kitchen and spoke to them. I am spending too much money in this household. From now on, you, Adelita, will work in the kitchen. You are here all the time anyway. And you, Esperanza, out. I want you to leave immediately. Oh, Senora de la Fortuna, please don't send me away, Esperanza pleaded. I have been with this family since I was a girl. I will work for no money, just for a place to lay my head in a bowl of beans and a tortilla. Oh, please, Mama, Adelita begged. Esperanza can share my room and my food. Out. Senora Michaela de la Fortuna shouted at Esperanza. Then, in an icy voice, she spoke to Adelita. And don't you dare call me Mama again. I am Dona Michaela to you. She turned and left with her nose in the air. Entre... Lagrimas y abrosos, amid tears and hugs, poor Esperanza said goodbye to Adelita and left with her meager belongings. Adelita was in despair. The days ahead held nothing but loneliness and hard work. Adelita had to prepare all the meals, clean the rooms, and fetch and carry Valentina and Dulce, who became more like maldi y vinegar, meanness and vinegar. Mi hijas, my daughters, Dona Michaela said one morning as Adelita was serving breakfast. El señor and la señora Gordillo have sent us an invitation to una fiesta en su hacienda, a party at their ranch, to celebrate the homecoming of their son, Javier. Oh, Mama Valentina and Dulce twittered. And, Dona Michaela said with a smile, si rumora, rumor has it, that he will be looking for a wife. The daughters nearly fainted. Secretly, they each wanted to be the wife of Javier, and each would do anything to get him. So I'm wondering if this is reminding you at all of the original Cinderella, the Cinderella that might be original to you. Dona Michaela, Adelita asked as she poured the hot coffee, may I go too? I knew Senor Javier when we were young. I would love to see him again. Are you serious? Dona Michaela asked. Look at you, so poorly dressed, such a dirty face. I would be too embarrassed to have you in our company. You will stay here. E punto. That is final. The next days were busy and Adelita did not have a minute to herself. Washing, pressing, sewing ribbons on, taking lace off, and the mercy of every little capriccio whim of the sisters as each tried to outdo the other. So when Dona Michaela, Valentina, and Dolce left for the fiesta, Adelita went to the kitchen and sat by the fire. Suddenly, disappointment swept over her, and she began to weep. She missed her father. She missed Esperanza. She missed being at the fiesta. Tap, tap, tap. She heard a soft knock at the door. Who is it? Adelita asked. See, yo, only me. It was Esperanza. Oh, Esperanza, I've missed you so much, Adelita cried. Don't cry, mi pequeñita, my little one, Esperanza said. I am here. I had un sueño, a dream, that Dona Michaela would not let you go to the fiesta. So I have come to help. I have borrowed a cart to take you there. But I have nothing to wear, Adelita said. Come with me, Esperanza said. 
They went to the Corrato de Tilices, the storeroom. Over there, behind those boxes, is your mother's trunk. The key is behind the crucifix. Adelita unlocked the trunk. Inside, she found an old-fashioned, beautiful white dress. Under the dress was a magnificent rubozo, a shawl embroidered with flowers and birds. Oh, mi mamacita, my little mother, Adelita whispered. Adelita washed and dressed, and Esperanza braided her hair and wound ribbons and flowers into it. Oh, Esperanza, Adelita said, Donna Michaela will be furious when she sees me. Don't worry, she'll never recognize you, Esperanza assured her. Now, vamanos, let's hurry. So she's kind of reminding me right now of the fairy godmother, the way that she got Cinderella ready. The fiesta had already begun when Adelita arrived. She walked into the room. Everyone turned to look and the room fell silent. Who was this stunning young woman? Senora Gordelia went up to Adelita. What do we have here, he asked. I'm in disguise, Adelita said with a twinkle and a sweet smile. Just call me Cenicinta, Cinderella. Javier, everyone, Senor Gordillo said. Come meet our very own Senesinta. Javier took one look and fell in love. He danced every dance with Adelita. He brought her refreshments and he never left his side, her side. Adelita's heart was full as well and all the meanness she had suffered over the years began to melt. But at midnight, at, when Javier gave her a sweet kiss and declared his love, Adelita was frightened. How she, could she explain who she was? His family would never allow him to marry the kitchen maid. So Adelita ran away and found Esperanza and they hurried home. I will never forget this night as long as I live, Esperanza. Adelita said, gracias, thank you. If you ever need me, mijita, my little daughter, just come and my, say my name and somehow I will hear you, Esperanza said. The next day, Aldona Michaela and her two daughters could talk, all they could talk about was the mysterious Sencinta, who had appeared and then disappeared from the fiesta, just like the fairy tale. They were jealous of her beauty and even more jealous because they knew that Javier had fallen in love with her. I'm glad no one knows who she is, Valentina said. Or where she is, Dolce said. And no Zapatilla de Cristal, glass slipper, Donna Michaela added. Javier had told everyone that he would not rest, though, until he found his sencinta. He is coming to town, oi, mismissimo, the very day, this very day. Donna Michaela announced. He will stop at each house and look for her. This is a chance to show once more your charms that you have, my daughter, so prepare yourselves. Who knows, maybe one of you will make him forget his sencinta. Adelita, they, they screamed, come help us quickly. I will be right there, Adelita answered. But before she, could, before she went to Val, Valentina and Dolce, she ran to her attic and room and hung her mother's rebozo out the window. Why do you think she did that? Remember the scarf, the rebozo that she wore that had the birds, the flowers on it? She hung it out her window. She helped the two sisters dress, and then she went back to her room and shyly peeked out the window. Soon, she saw Javier coming down the street on his horse. Suddenly, he saw the rebozo, and he jumped down, ran to the door, and knocked. Senor Michaela de la Fortuna opened the door. Ah, Senor Javier, passe, por favor, come in, please, she said. Senor, where is she? I know my love is here, Javier said. Do you mean one of my daughters, Donna Michaela said. Valentina Dolce, come here. Senor Javier would like to see you. She 
Should we leave off right here? This is a good spot. A little cliffhanger. Nah. The sisters appeared in the doorway, giggling foolishly. Buen dia, good day, Senor Javier, they chimed in unison. Do you remember us? Are you looking for us? Yes, ladies, I remember you, Javier answered, but it's another that I'm looking for. There's no one else here, Donna Michaela said. Yes, there is, a voice said. Are you looking for me, senor? There was Adelita, standing at the top of the stairs in her mother's dress in rebozo. My sencinta, Javier said. Who, what, what's going on, Donna Michaela asked, while Valentina and Dolce looked at Adelita in astonishment. It's only Adelita, Donna Michaela, Adelita said as she came down the stairs. Only Adelita. Who are you, Javier asked. I am Adelita Mercado Martinez. We knew each other when we were children. Ah, uh, Adelita, of course I remember you as a little girl, Javier gasped. I'm so happy to have found you again, he smiled. I have come to ask my sencinta to marry me, will you? I am an orphan, Senor Javier, Adelita said. Perhaps you should ask Donna Michaela. She will give permission. Will you, Senora? Javier asked. Why, I don't know. I don't know what, I mean, well, of course, we shall be honored, Senor Javier, Dona Michaela said. Valentina and Dolce glared at Adelita. Then it will be, Javier said, taking Adelita's hand in his. In her sweetness, Adelita invited Senora Michaela de la Fortuna Mercado and her daughters Valentina and Dolce to the wedding. Of course, Esperanza was there too. She was going to take care of Javier and Adelita, just as she had done before. And just like the Sencita and Principe, the prince, we shall live muy felices por siempre, happily ever after, too, said Javier. And they did. And that is the story of Adelita. And do you remember what country it's from? It's from Mexico. So boys and girls, what you're going to do today is you're going to log on to your slide. And Mrs. Bruin's going to pull it up. I'm going to show you one more time how to do this. I'm a little bit nervous why many people aren't doing the slideshow. Any particular reason? Let's see. So, when you go in, here we go, there's Mrs. Bruins Tigers, right? You're gonna find your slideshow. Oh look, somebody else turned it in. Let's see who it was. It was Priscilla. So I'm gonna open up Priscilla's slideshow here. And I'm going to check out that she did slide 12. And she did. There it is. So I'm going to write back to her. Awesome job. Okay, and then I'm going to post it. And I'm going to return it. But now because Priscilla opened this up, Yesterday, this is gonna be in her slideshow, okay, in her, on her drive. So what Priscilla's gonna do is she's going to go here. Can you see the squares where Mrs. Bruin is? She's gonna go here and click on it, and she's gonna go to slides and click on it. I'm just re-showing you what Sophie showed you, if you watched that video already. And the first slideshow that's gonna be in Mrs. Bruin's drive is Priscilla's, and that's because that was the last one I opened. So when you go into your slides, your slideshow will open. Now, if you made a mistake and you didn't do your slide yesterday, if you didn't open it, it's okay. All you have to do then is find it in Google Classroom. So you're just gonna scroll down you're gonna go back into Google Classroom. If you didn't do a slideshow the day before, you're going to find it again. It's just gonna be right under today's things and open it up then. 
Okay, and then if you didn't do it on Wednesday, you can do page um, 11 for the Korean Cinderella. I think it's 11, maybe 12. And then do the next page for Adelita, okay? And turn it in. You sh I showed you how to do that and you'll be good to go. We are gonna be masters at this remote learning in no time. Have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.